I'm trying to finish a report for work. We're gonna, uh, see, we'll call to, call to order the uh, Fitzrona EMS Commission. Uh, can we have the roll call, please? Roberts. Here. Hilla. Here. Johnson. Cronin. Here. Kaiser McHenry. Lonsdorf. Here. Wheeler. Lugenbull. Here. Chief Anderson. Here. And Deputy Chief Dastelek. Uh, any public comment? I don't see any members of the public here, so I'll assume no. Yeah, All right. Uh, next order is swearing in and pinning of paramedic Lane Matheson. Please come forward. I felt the click, so I think we're good. All right. Set that there. All right, I'm going to hold this here so you can see it here. We'll have you raise your right hand. Uh, please repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Lane Matson. As a sworn paramedic of the Fitrona EMS District. As a sworn paramedic of the Fitrona EMS District. Swear that I will faithfully, honestly, and impartially. Swear that I will faithfully, honestly, and partially. Discharge the duties of an EMS provider. Discharge the duties of an EMS provider. And I pledge to carry out these duties to the best of my ability. And I pledge to carry out these duties to the best of my ability. I recognize the badge of my position as a symbol of public faith and trust. I recognize the badge of my position as a symbol of public faith and trust. And I accept this position so long as I am true to the ethics of the emergency medical services profession. And I accept this position so long as I am true to the ethics of the emergency medical services position, profession. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. Step up. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. All right, thank you, Chief. Uh, next item of business is to review and approve uh, the minutes from January 15th or January 18th. We got another date problem. The agenda says the 15th, the minutes say the 18th. Uh oh. It would be the 18th. The 18th, all right. January 18th. Uh, anyone review them? Anyone have any uh, corrections? I have none. All right. I wasn't here for that meeting, so I'll. Uh, uh, anyone want to make a motion to approve? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the January meeting. All right, Jr. Second. Second. Kate, thank you. All right, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, minutes approved. Uh, Chief's report. Sure. Uh, so I'll, I shared, I uh, sent you, a, it was a bizarre formatting issue if anybody tried to open it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> so long, sent it to the wrong printer and everything else. So I apologize for you not getting it in the right report. I will, I will email out um, a, a correct, you got the right report, it just, was going to print it on a bunch of labels. Yeah, that's what it was sized for. So I'll send you out a, a corrected copy tomorrow. So this is it, just the first two months of the year. Um, up significant 8% last uh, in February. So up for about two, just 1.5% for the year. Um, 
Uh, we actually did have another four uh, calls come through from the city of Madison actually having to come. So we're up to eight times this year. We were out of trucks in the city. Uh, I don't want to say the city of Madison, actually uh, Belleville. <laughs> Belleville EMS actually had to come into our district twice um, in the last two months um, to cover our calls. So numbers creeping up there. The rest of the data you see there that I normally report <clears throat> um, did check in. You'll see, again, the two lines with the uh, accounts receivable from uh, EMSC and Three Rivers. Um, they are, as you can see from those numbers, they're very quickly catching up onto some old uh, old runs. You're, we're still going to see Three Rivers every time. Um, so that's the old billing company, and we stopped using them October of October 30th of last year, um, but every time there's still they are still collecting on accounts, and every time there's a a payer, um, so the insurance company maybe pays, and then it comes to a copay from a a, a patient. Um, when that patient gets a bill, that restarts that clock. So then the patient has another 30, 60, 90 days to pay. So that's why you're still going to see um, a zero to 30 time frame for Three Rivers. So those are old calls that are just getting processed with new payers. Um, so, yeah, those will be there for a while. And as I mentioned, EMSMC, now we've been with them since November. So you'll see those numbers um, ticking up there. Still, they've gotten billed. Um, March is, we've started to see some significant deposits in March from EMSMC. Um, the first part of the year trickled in pretty slow, but it's it's finally getting caught up. Um, and then I met with uh, EMSMC couple of weeks ago, um, the aging there with Three Rivers, they're tackling that. Um, a pretty large chunk of that is going to end up having to go to a collection agency or be written off just because of the timely filing and the hiccup we had um, with Three Rivers. So um, they're very aware that that's something to keep on top of in the future. Um, so we'll see that number drop pretty significantly here next month. Um, you, you'll see all the rest of our um, cash on hand stuff. We're doing fine there. We still have not got our uh, funds from the state. Uh, and then our money market has uh, deposited there. I did provide, I was able to get the run numbers from Sun Prairie. Uh, still haven't got back from Middleton where they were. So we were at 13.9% increase uh, last year. Sun Prairie was at almost 20% increase in calls. <clears throat> but last year is also the very first year that Marshall uh, Sun Prairie had the entire year of the former Marshall EMS district that Sun Prairie now covers. So there's a significant increase in, in calls from them. Um, other updates to share with you. Uh, checked in with our ambulance uh, on the ambulance order that was supposed to come in October. Um, that has now been bumped to November. So that still keeps getting kicked down the road. We won't see those until then. Um, <clears throat> it's a new, uh, it's an electronics part now that is uh, starting to cause some issues uh, and backups. So they're still on order. Um, I am working on getting pricing to order uh, or get, at least get locked in some pricing for a 2027 truck. Um, they're currently through the end of 26. So in the next couple of months here, we'll be looking on getting that for the CIP update and making sure we've got the appropriate money um, budgeted for, for 2027 um, and looking at a 36-month delivery time on those as well. Uh, still have an employee out on maternity leave. couple of shout-outs. Um, park printing in Verona. Jeff went over. They've got um, an AED there. So Jeff went over for, it was some 50-some employees did a, a kind of a just familiarization for CPR um, for that group. And then um, the, when the tornadoes went through uh, Evansville a little bit ago, or uh, however long ago that was, they did actually send us, we'd sent an ambulance down there to help them support their area. So a uh, thank you letter from them. Those are the two shout outs from that I have listed on there. Uh, other updates I have for the chief's report is the audit. We heard from the auditors. They should have Brett from House Johnson from Johnson Block um, believes they it's, um, it's taken a little bit it'll take a little bit longer than usual because we're dealing with the two different billing companies. So uh, they do separate out run income over the course of two years. So trying to get information from two different billing companies um, was a bit of a challenge, but the uh, Michelle helped guide right. <laughs> guide that work. Um, so they do have all that information. He was thinking within the first week or two of April, we would have that draft. Um, and the other thing I noted here is um, this is Kate's last meeting with us. She's stepping down from the city council in Verona. So I think I looked it up seven, seven years with us. So six, six years with us. So I did want to thank her very much for uh, 
Thank you. Yeah, all of the support that she's given us. Uh, Thanks, over the, for Kate. The course of the yeah. years. Um, that's what I have for the chief's report, unless there's questions for me. Any questions or comments? All right, thank you, Chief. Um, subcommittee reports, personnel. I don't know who the chair of that is. Uh, well, almost that was Derek, and he no. is not here, so I think that will. <laughs> I think JR, it's JR and Sue. Uh, but as we talked, both of um, it was all closed. Meetings. It was all closed yeah. session, so I, right. I think which we're going to go over in a minute. And the same thing was true with finance. We just had a finance committee. Uh, it was all closed session business, so we'll talk about that when we go into closed session. So, um, I guess next before we go into closed session, uh, review of the accounts payable checks. Any questions or comments on them? I have no questions on that. There's a lot of them. I mean, well, you know, yeah, I yeah. know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do we have to approve them or, yeah, uh, can we have a motion to approve the right. report? Should I make a motion to approve the counts payable checks? All right, thank you, Sue. I'll second. JR seconds. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Uh, then I need a motion to go into closed session. Somebody does have to read verbatim what it says on oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I would like to make a motion to move into closed session uh, pursuant to Wisconsin State Statute 19.85, Paren 1, Paren C, considering employment, promotion, compensation, or performance evaluation data of any public employee over which the governmental body has jurisdiction or exercises responsibility uh, in discussion for compensation of non-represented employees of the district. All right, thank you. Uh, second? Second. All right, and all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, we're now in closed session. Okay. All right, so we're back in open session at this point. Uh, thank you. Um, so, uh, Chief, do we need to go into closed session for the next items? Um, no, we don't. Those were really just discussion items we had at the smaller committees. So um, there's no actionable items uh, right. to bring forward at this time. So we'll skip the agenda of going back into closed session at this point. Um, do you want to discuss any of them, or we're just gonna, we'll just move on? And uh, any other business that we need to conduct? Um, do you want to talk about meeting dates? Oh yes, thank you. Um, I've I've asked the chief um, if we could change the meeting time or the meeting date. Um, it, it turns out the town of Verona Plan Commission generally meets on the th same at the same time as the EMS Commission, the third Thursday of every month. And there's a lot of development going on in the town right now and several big projects that are coming up. And I find it very helpful if I can attend plan commission meetings, even though I'm not on the plan commission, just so I can become familiar with them before the full board meets and approves them or not. Uh, and so I've asked if we I could... I would like to as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because there's <laughs> one... Me. Yeah, there's one right behind <laughs> your house, exactly. Uh, and so... Um, I asked if we could have it on a, uh, any other date, basically a different Thursday would be fine with me. Um, but uh, how would the other members of the commission feel about that? I'm open for anything. I think uh, same. All right. Connie? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Kate? I think uh, Mondays are Verona council meetings, Tuesdays and went. Tuesdays are Fitchburg council meetings, Wednesdays are we're council all the whole meetings. Nobody wants to meet on Fridays, so I would suggest we still do on still Thursdays. Thursday. Um, avoiding holidays, probably not a good idea to push it to the fourth Thursday, so yeah. I would propose so the second, the second yeah. Tuesday, the second Thursday of the month. There's nothing, I double-checked in the intergovernmental agreement, there's nothing in there that says we have to commit to the second, or to, to the third Thursday. So um, it would just be double-checking. I know you told me to check with the city administrators in both, and I completely forgot, but I, right. I believe the second Thursday of the month would be okay. Would be okay, all right. Well, that'd be great for me if that's agreeable to everyone Is there else any communication time? 
No, as long as is there they, a communication time to the public that we have to commit to? Uh, twenty four hours before a meeting. I have yeah. to have an agenda posted twenty four hours before our meeting. So that's that's the only limitation for our open meetings laws. But I will communicate with the other municipalities um, the intent to do this to this the city clerks and see if they come back with any issues that I'm not thinking about. Um, and I will share that. Otherwise, we will. And the intent then will be to meet next month, uh, and I'll work on a personnel and a finance committee. I'll see if I can get. I'll see if I have something productive to, to bring to those two meetings before the meeting next month. Right. Um, but I will. Um, I will communicate with you in the future. But yeah, we'll plan on. I don't know. Somebody have that date. Uh, it's the it would be Thursday, uh, April eleventh. The eleventh. And I guess okay. if you can't work it out, it could be May too. I mean, it's sure it doesn't have to be next month. But um, yeah, yeah. If we can't get anything for next month, we should meet in May for sure. That'll be a preliminary It'll be May ninth. Um, then yeah. So you'll we should see a CIP presentation, which isn't changed um, for sure in May, um, and then yeah, a budget in well, probably a, a preliminary budget and operational budget in May as well. So okay, well, that's we'll great. Shoot for Thank May eleventh. Okay, All right. Uh, another business. All right, Kate. Um, so, as Chief Anderson indicated, this is my last EMS Commission meeting, and I just wanted to say that um, my first real interaction with Fitzrona was about ten years ago, on probably one of the worst days of my life, and the first time I'd ever had to call nine one one. And apologies, Chief Destelek. I could hear the sirens before I was even done talking with the 911 operator. Um, but in that interaction, every person that I interacted with treated my family member with dignity and respect. And not only did they help my family member, but they counseled me on maybe you should drive to the hospital instead of going in the ambulance so that you're not trapped at the hospital <laughs> once you get there. They made sure that my animals were still in the house after having the door open and closed multiple times. Um, so when it came to committee assignments, it was a pretty easy ask to be added to the Fitzrona EMS Commission. Um, but from a public health perspective, I just want to say I think it's fantastic what Patrick and Jeff have been doing in terms of the community outreach around falls prevention and partnering with, uh, you know, local nursing homes and assisted living facilities, you know, the Narcan administration, the outreach that you do to the community with, um, you know, blood pressure checks and um, hands-only CPR training. Um, these are, there's a, a need for that and that Fitrona is addressing that is, is a big deal. Um, and, even as a private citizen, I will still continue to support full funding for the Fitrona EMS district, even if I can't run up and sign checks anymore at the fire station. So thank you. Thanks, Kate. Thank you for your service, Kate, too. Yes, thank you, Kate. Been a pleasure working with you. All right, any other business? Otherwise, I'm going to pound the gavel. Uh, we're adjourned. <laughs> I mean, oh, I don't think you, you don't. All right. Adjourn? I'll take a motion. Fine. Motion to adjourn. All right. Uh, second. Um, I second. All right, Connie. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 All right. We're, now we're adjourned.